going to turn now to this. Landmark TV show, of course, The Sopranos. Hard to believe it's been more than two decades wow. since the series first premiered, and it's still finding new fans, especially with classic moments like this one. Look at this. I can't feel my toes. You got any blankets? No, sorry. Turn up the heat, huh? You got the money? It was in the car. That's all I asked you to do, Paulie. Sorry, T. It couldn't be helped. Guy lunged at us. You want to look for this guy or what? You tell me. Is it worth it? Let's go home. <laughs> a memorable moment there and you can now find out everything that was actually happening behind the scenes when that series was made with a new revealing book from two of the stars of the show it's called woke up this morning and we are so excited to have michael imperioli and steve sharippa with us in studio today you see how your names were all phonetically spelled for me which i actually think made it harder for me to just say but thank you for being with us today um this congratulations on the new book obviously um what what made you decide to co-author this book? Obviously, you were stars on the show together, but, but why this book? We uh, started doing a podcast in April of 2020, right? Right at the beginning of the pandemic. And we invited a lot of our cast members, a lot of the crew people, the writers, directors, onto the podcast. And there were so many interesting stories. We were like, we got to find a way to put this in a book. Some people that are coming up to you all and fans of the show now weren't even born <laughs> when the show premiered, or they weren't old enough to watch that content at the time. What's it like to have these, these youngins coming up and Well, you know, uh, a lot of, te you know, we found out there's a lot of teens, mm -hmm. a lot of uh, kids in their 20s. My kids mm -hmm. didn't watch it when they were younger, and they are watching the show, and it resonates with them, you know. And besides maybe the the cars and the computers and the phones it's like it was written yesterday yeah. but when you step back as a fan is there something about it that comes off now that maybe you didn't appreciate or enjoy the first time yeah around? i don't think i did appreciate it as much i knew it was great then but now as i'm older i appreciate the dr melfi stuff back then it was kind of a little boring to me now oh. that i'm older i understand <laughs> it a lot. that's you a know? good point uh, so <laughs> You know, I always knew it was funny, but now it's sometimes it's laugh out loud fun. Wow. I was going to ask you, what, what, what are some of the, do you want to give us any little indication what's inside these pages that fans don't know that will be, perhaps even they'll be shocked to hear about? Lorraine Bracco, who we know played Dr. Melfi, was offered Carmella mm. and turned it down because she said she al had already played the mob wife, of course, in Goodfellas, and she said, I should be Dr. Melfi. Wow. And they were smart enough to uh, follow through on that. That's one of the one of the things that I didn't know about the well, show. Well, tell them the story about when you got drunk with Jim. Uh, <laughs> between, <laughs> it's a good start. Between <laughs> tapes, me on the they spot. drank a bottle of wild turkey. They had to chain their legs to a tree so they didn't fall off a cliff. You forgot that story. <laughs> I remember, see, we rehearsed the scene, and they said it's going to take a long time to light it. It was a Friday night. It was very simple. We had to take a body or a head out of the trunk and dump it off the cliff. It sounded very simple. So Jim said, we went in the trailer, he said, do you want a drink? I remember going in the trailer. I don't remember coming out because the bottle was empty. And they were worried we were going to get too close to that cliff, so they did indeed chain us to wow. the trailer. But it was very, it's not as... It's not as degenerate as it sounds. It was very innocent. <laughs> two two okay, friends you, on a Friday night. You got a degenerate story about him since he put you on the spot. No, like but I can't say I can't okay. say it on the air. We'll talk after. Another one. Okay, <laughs> fellas, this is fantastic. And again, you know, so you mentioned David Chase, and you actually have something here about how he had to go about telling folks that they were going to be whacked on the show. He had to do it very delicately, like a doctor giving bad news. Yeah. Yeah. He. Uh, you know, usually. Usually he would uh, catch you like at the read through and say, can I talk to you for a second? <laughs> or he would call you, you know, on the phone. Some people did not take it well, wow. you yeah. know. Uh, and with me, he called me and then came to my apartment and uh, the doorman called him up and I opened the door and he went, I guess you know I am here. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I found out. Oh Everybody's got a different story how they found out. You know? oh, Steve Sharippa, Michael Imperioli, we could listen to you talk forever. Uh, thank you so much for being with us today. It was great. And everyone, the book is Woke Up This Morning. It's now available wherever books are sold. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> well, hey,
there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.